Hello everybody, Andy here again. Well, welcome to what I think could become one of my favourite spots, a new favourite spot for me. If I had to come around that, walking in the woods, and I wanted to come down to this sort of reservoir place here. Very peaceful, once again, just the birds in the background. Taking a, a walk through the woods and <laughs> more or less getting lost. But uh, I thought, what a great place to... Yeah, yeah. Wood pigeons, ducks, geese, I think, over there's probably nesting birds, etc. Anyway, what I actually wanted to talk about was a survey I read about the other day and how it connects with other things, as so many things do. That um, did a survey in Britain, and apparently 73% of those surveyed, and it's a fair, fair size survey, said that they thought that broadband or a high speed internet connection was now essential. It was going to be becoming as essential, essential as all the other utilities, water, gas, electricity, because when everything that we do now is, is tied up with, with people on, with being online, isn't it? I feel very sorry for those people who A, don't, aren't interested in being online or f feel that they're being forced onto being online. And that's one of the points of the video, because we think that it's essential now. It's become, as I said, an essential part of life. Certainly for me, you know what it's like if you, you lose your internet connection or you're away for it for a while so much of your life and increasingly more of your life is led online that you actually need it. So many places now you see things on the news or adverts or something like that, anything that you want to get in touch with, something you want to find out about and they give you a website to go to. Now I know people, older, the older, elder people than me are saying I haven't got a computer, I'm not interested, that type of thing. Those people are being left behind, literally left behind because they've got no access. Now the, the British um, government are trying to bring out a survey very recently, a report should I say, called Digital Britain which is due out any time now and they're talking about obviously the future etc and they're expected to put in there that every person should have access to a, a broadband or an internet speed of two megabytes per second which is what they call a broadband speed but it's not exactly a high one but that is for everybody in the country now not everybody in the country can get this now so that's that's the ambition um, which is <laughs> brings us on to one of the other things because there was another thing that was in the uh, another thing that came out the other day is that British Telecom, who are one of the main main players uh, in the internet industry, and actually is coincidentally the people that I get my internet through, have, have, people have discovered that after, or should we say in the evenings, from about five, half five in the evening, if you're watching sites like the BBC iPlayer or YouTube, I think they're the main two, that obviously are video streaming sites that take up a lot of bandwidth and are increasingly going more towards high definition and they're becoming more and more popular as we upload videos as the BBC uses the iPlayer, I use it far more. Now what they're doing after those times is they're actually restricting the speed that you can get down to below one megabyte per second. Um, I think this is only for certain customers, but I coincidentally have noticed that my internet connection in the evenings, especially when trying to view uh, YouTube videos, isn't as good as it used to be. That could well be just a coincidence, I don't know. It might be I'm just looking for it now. But I have certainly in the last week or so found that it's harder to get on. Now also, what British Telecom have announced this week is that they're going to start rolling out, because my, my internet connection at the moment is a maximum of up to 8 megabytes per second. We all know that you can never get what they say it's up to, that's what they have to say it's up to. You might get about 3 or something, three and a half, four 4 if you're lucky. Um, they're now going to roll out a 20 megabytes per, uh, per second system for certain customers because they're changing the, the technology etc so ultimately I expect everybody will be getting that who can get the internet at, uh, at all because there's still as I said what we now call not spots <laughs> places or people that can't get it at all because of where they are. Now whether they're going to charge extra I don't think BT are but they're still going to have that limit there for in the evenings for YouTube, BBC iPlayer, other video streaming websites, etc. So we're, we're getting in a way a two-tiered system and we're also being asked to pay possibly for a two-tiered system because if BT are only um, limiting this for certain contracts because there's certain sort of stages, as they probably are with all the other companies, I'm not just singling out them because I expect others are doing the same or certainly thinking, that's a damn good idea, I think I'll get on this one as well. But it raises that sort of spectre of, of a two-tiered or three-tiered, four-tiered system in the future. They get you wanting something, something that you now consider to be essential and then they start charging you a bit more for it or they start limiting you if you don't pay a certain amount of money. 
and it brings in the question that whole sort of net neutrality thing that certain people are being excluded you're having to pay for what they would class as premium content and that yes we all know that certain aspects of the the internet the media especially have got to find some sort of viable system where they can actually make money out of it but not the broadband companies themselves they're the ones who provide it not i'm not talking about the internet service providers they shouldn't be doing this and ultimately they're the ones that are the gateways to the internet for us so i'd like to know if anyone else has found this because it's something that worries me say two sort of contradictory things and all these different surveys coming out the fact that we now consider something to be essential it's like in the past now everybody or the vast majority of people consider a car to be essential and when petrol prices go up we're held to ransom and I've got a horrible feeling that in the future that may well happen with our internet services as well and whether it's a coincidence whether it's a concerted effort on these people you know what it is they reel you in then they got you by the by the uh, the you know what I mean <laughs> got you by the short and curly so we say and um, and then you're stuck you either go backwards and we know that we can't now because everything else is being left behind the telephone hope lines are going you can't write to people anymore you have to email or something like that and obviously the rise of um, video on mobile phones and that is, is dragging us more and more into that type of thing as well so interesting topic as far as I'm concerned I'd love to know what anybody else thinks about this whether they've noticed it whether they they've got the same sort of concerns whether it's me just being paranoid or cynical I don't know but so uh, there's big talk about net neutrality and sort of stopping certain people getting on or blocking this or paying for more etc it's a big argument that I know has been going on in the US and I've sort of certainly tackled it in the past but I've noticed it creeping in over here with these stories so that's what I wanted to say I'm going to leave you with a nice view of this lovely little spot which, as I said before, I'm sure I'll come back to. Anyway, I'll leave it there. Thanks for your time. I'll speak to you again soon. Goodbye.